there's a reason why I left a lot of these lava pools alone. And it's not because it looks pretty, and it's not because I'm a pyromaniac, it is because the fact of the matter is, is that one day we will actually find another void. And today is the day that I will show you guys that we have found another void, and this is going to be a partial how-to, due to the fact that... Not too sure there's many videos out there, I'm pretty sure that there are, but for the fact of the matter is, I kept telling people that all you have to do is find a lava pool that's in the bedrock level, and it's going to be a good chance that you're going to find a void, and this is the lava pool. As you guys know, I do not go by technicality-wise, wherever head level is at, I go where my feet are touching, because that's easier for me to actually, you know, comprehend. So this is Y-axis 4, so if you go over to here... You can see that we're at y-axis 4 right now, and the lava pool is at y-axis 3. So it's a good chance that's gonna be a void. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna go ahead and mine the little area out, and as well as cover it all up with some cobblestone. And I will speed that up for you guys so it's gonna be faster. Now that you have filled up the area with cobblestone or stone, whatever you want to do, don't use obsidian because it's going to bite you in the end. So what we're going to do is mine a little bit more right here, just mine it up just a tad bit. Do I have any torches? It'd be Okay, I have good three torches. This is enough lighting. So we're going to mine up here and then we already are under y-axis 3. So this is right here. Going and look at that. This is y-axis 3. We're going to go down once more. And then you will see here that this is y-axis 2 in this sort of area right here. And what you have to do is mine down. Oh wait, you cannot mine whatsoever. You can mine y-axis 3, but you cannot mine y-axis 2. So this is a good indicator that you have found a void spot. And what you need to do to actually get to it is that you're going to have to use TNT because it will destroy the block. But if there's obsidian that's under there, then tough luck, you're not going to be able to actually reach it anymore. That's what happened with the first void that I found. That I actually, I actually blocked it off with obsidian because I feared that one day if people were to find it, they would actually mine it up and jump into it. Because back then, what would happen if you were to jump into it... It's going to be a pretty much a disastrous thing that it's going to actually freeze the game. It will actually freeze the server and you're going to have to restart your Xbox for it to actually be fixed. The first time I jumped in there, all, I, it, all it did was just I died and I was able to spawn. But then when my friend jumped in, it froze my game. So that's a bad thing that's going to happen if it happens like that. And look, there's another spot right there. So this is a good deal. This is a good deal indeed. So let me go over here, place it right there. Just to be safe, get rid of all the other excess area. So all you have to do is get a TNT block and you're going to have to detonate it. Back then, the void would have been sky blue. All you have to do is just go look at my first video of we found a void or the endless void. I called it a glitch back then because I had no idea what it was back then. But it turns out that was a deal that was actually created so that your game wouldn't crash. At least if you were on the PC. For the console edition, I don't know why they had it there. But I'll show you what happened to it now. Well, it's kind of a good indicator due to the fact that you cannot mine the spot anymore. So let me go ahead and place the red torch. Oh, oh man, forgot. Got to place it right next to it. Eh. Oh, snap, I forgot. No, don't die, don't die. Oh, there we go. Right then and there. Torch, and there's a void. You cannot fall into it. You can't really do much with it. All you can do is just look at it. And, of course, you can't mine it. But although you could actually place a torch right there, but you cannot pick up the torch anymore if you were to place it down on y-axis 1. Because right here, this is y-axis 1. Just look at the map. Look at that. y-axis 1, y-axis 2. Kind of gets confusing after a while. This is why I go by the feet. But there you have it. And if you were to go by head level, I guess, I don't know what, what level would we be at, but your feet would be at least at negative 1 or negative 2. But again, I don't really go by the technicality wise. So, this is what it is. Let me go ahead and pick that up. Excuse me, don't want to die. And blow it up. There you go. Just more voids everywhere, especially in this area. Let me do it once more because it's fun blowing up TNT. I don't get to do this very often. Blow it up. So, there you have it. And, of course, the torch actually made a lighting glitch here. So, there's no way to actually get rid of that. But, 
you can easily patch it up with stone or cobblestone it'll be fine but just for the purpose of this video this is how you could actually find a void this is how you get to the void and what you can do with the void nothing really it's just there to show like hey guys i found a void you want to check it out what you could do is actually look under it and you could see pretty much the underworld if you could actually angle it quite right you could actually see all the torches in the corner right there look at all the torches that are just floating now this is kind of like a graphical glitch if you want to call it that but you have to angle it just right. Oh heck, I actually destroyed part of the ceiling. And I think there's a little bit of a small little window glitch or graphical glitch that has to do with the area as well. If you were to put some, like some sort of ceiling above it. I'm not too sure if this will actually work, but I've done it before. And it's kind of cool to actually look at the underworld. I don't know if, it's, I don't think it's going to actually do it this time. But hey, this is what it is. You could actually find a void if you were to find a lava pool at least at Y axis 3. Dig down to Y axis 2. If you find any blocks you cannot mine up, use the TNT block and then you will find Y axis 1 underneath and this is a void. So it's pretty cool. It's pretty neat to actually find this once again. I've already found four in this world, including this one. So I just wanted to show you guys that I'm not crazy. You just have to find a lava pool and then there's a good chance that you will find a void. So good luck finding some of the voids. I'm not too sure if it's actually going to be patched up later on in the other updates. But for this world, I was able to find it. So you have a, if you have an older saved world, then you can search it up for yourselves. But it's going to take a while, so don't count on actually ever finding one. You're just going to do a lot of mining. But other than that, that's all I got to say for this video. We found another void, and here's the proof of how you could actually find it, what you need to do, and just mainly, it's all there for show and bragging rights. Brag to your friends that you have found a void in your world. And maybe, just maybe, if we were to delete all the updates and go back to title update 1, the void probably will be back. Not too sure on that, don't quote me on that. Probably gonna have to test it out another day. But for now, this is what it is, and hope you enjoy this video. So, with that being said, have a great day everyone. I am SorkeyN090, and as always, I will see you in the next video. Just a side note here, I actually got it to work. So here it is, you can see all the floating torches, you can see a lot of the blocks over there in the corners, and you can see more lava pools, and I think there's another void over there, not too sure. It looks like there's another void on the bottom right corner, so if I ever get to there, maybe well, there will be another video for that. But until then, that's all I gotta show, it kinda looks cool, but again, more or less, it's just kinda pointless at this point. But other than that, hope you enjoyed the video, have a great day everyone.